Hello, I'm Safira Lou and welcome to my channel. Hello guys and welcome to this month's original art video. This month I've decided to do a continuation onto a series I started last year uh, where I do these dear seasonal dear girls and last year I did a piece called Winter and if you haven't seen that before I'll leave a link in the top left hand corner for you to check out if you are interested in seeing the previous illustration I've done as part of this series. The whole idea with this is that each of the dear represents, dear girls represent um, the season and also what the fruit or what the bearing of their season is. And the whole idea with this is that she is a harvester and she is holding the fruit, uh, the, almost like the goods of her season. So it is lots of like uh, corn, pumpkins, squashes, berries. It's something that very much is kind of like folklore-ish almost. Uh, I can imagine whereas the previous deer would bring winter, this one would bring up the harvest and the autumn and the changing of seasons. And I think with autumn being my favourite season, um, I just really wanted to play a factor into that. So with this whole series, I really wanted to just play off the fact about seasons and changes and the colours that I feel represent each season. I do want to do a summer and a spring one um, and I want to know what you guys think. Would you guys like to see the summer and spring one as well? Obviously it'll be a few months in between just so it can coincide with each season but do you think this would work? Would you be interested in it? Let me know in the comments down below. The equipment I'm using is Daily Rowley uh, mixed media paper, my Unipin fine liners, my Electroset Pro markers, I use a Uniball Signo Pentel white gel pen as well as I use some white acrylic ink as well. Uh, for a full list of the equipment, if you've missed any of it, they will be listed fully down below so that you can check them out. I can't believe it's coming to the end of autumn already and we're hurtling into winter. It kind of makes me nostalgic in a way. Um, the, the seasons and the change. I love when seasons change and you can see the change that's happening. Like right now, nights are getting much darker, uh, the air is getting colder, and you can feel the real sense of change that's happening. And it's really fascinating to me. I just think that nature's kind of scary, but at the same time, it's just so fascinating that it just does these things automatically. And it's all to do with like, um, the way we shift our uh, axis and that. I'm not going to go into the scientific parts about it. I just, I really like when seasons change and I just think it's really inspiring to see how it happens. I like, for example, when the tree leaves change and they change um, different colours and they go from these normally quite a bright green to these orangey, red, yellow hues so as the leaves are slowly you know, dying out, their colours change, them. some of the most vi vibrant colours you'll ever see and it's just so nice to see as well. So I'm going into a little bit of folklore about what I feel this would represent. I feel that this deer would give in harvest, bring in the harvest season and almost make sure you have a fruitful harvest. Um, and provides the food for the winter because winter can the food can be quite sparse and quite hard to grow um, because of the harsher weather so autumn is the time where you hoard food and <clears throat> it's kind of fascinating to think about that and obviously times have changed um, since back when you couldn't store food properly but now we have such technology at our fingertips that we are able to do things that we will not have been able to do in the past and it's kind of interesting almost. I don't know, I'm just rambling. <laughs> so I like to do a lot of original work and, and this year I'll be taking part in Huvember. Uh, Huvember, if you don't know, is where you get a colour wheel and you choose a hue from that month. So kind of like, you know how I did my Hello Zine? Um, um, taking part in that almost and if you guys do want to check that out please check out my Instagram and my Twitter I'll be posting up regularly on there during what I've been doing every single day and also my two minute Tuesdays will coincide with what I've done for that 
um, day and you'll be able to see as well at the end of the month hopefully a sketchbook tour I have just found a Inktober sketchbook tour and that should be going up on Saturday you guys are gonna get four videos from me this week that's kind of insane and <laughs> um, I will be posting up the YouTube artist collective video tomorrow as well and this time we are doing Grimm's fairy tales which is gonna be interesting I'm very interested to see what everyone produces because there's so many standout amazing stories in there. Um, I'm just kind of interested to see what everyone does if they choose similar stories, how are they going to interpret those stories. And I think that's what's really good about being creative is that anyone can interpret things a different way. So I am going to set you a challenge. I want to see how you would do your seasonal deer. And I'm going to give you the prompt of autumn. Um, you can choose anything that you want and if you want to use the hashtag stay creative with Sephira Lou on all social medias and I'll be able to see your work. I think I kind of want to do once a month maybe a feature of, of, of like fan art or art that people have shown me um, just because I think it's a good way to send back to the community. What do you guys think? I'm interested in, hear your, in hearing your thoughts just because um, I kind of want to be more active in the community more than I am now just because I want to give back to you guys since you guys give so much to me um let me know what you think in the comments down below whether or not you think this will be a cool idea I want to know what you'd do and I'd also be interested to see what people do with the same prompts because I'm always interested in seeing how everything like everyone interprets the same like you guys did such an amazing job with the frog pixie challenge that i set you so i want to know what you would do with an autumn seasonal day and uh, don't be afraid to share your work i'd love to see what you guys do i always think it's so fascinating and interesting to see what everyone produces with the same prompt and i would love to see what you produce So we're coming towards the end of this piece and overall I do like this. I don't think I like it as much as my winter um, just because there isn't as much colour contrast. I think uh, this week I didn't really struggle. Um, I just was fine because I've, I've literally just got back from Comic Con just trying to find the time to do things. Well, it's been a little bit difficult this week so um, I wanted to do something, I wasn't going to miss a video um, but at the same time I was just like I didn't know what to do <laughs> so I kind of feel like the concept of this could have been uh, constructed a little bit better but overall I'm kind of happy with it I like the colours at least I just think there should have been more contrast but let me know what you guys think down below I'd love to see what you guys create with the same prompt I hope you guys have liked this video maybe subscribe to see more content if you wish make sure to check out my previous seasonal deer video but as always folks stay creative <laughs>